Today, we are going to learn an interesting concept about perspective. Do you know what is perspective? No? Okay, let me teach you. Let me tell you something about perspective, but with an example. So I'm going to take this pencil and show you something. When I get this pencil closer to you, what do you think? Is the size of the pencil increasing? Maybe. You might see that the size of the pencil is increasing now. But when I take it away from you, the size of the pencil might decrease. But in real life, the size of the pencil is same. So, this is all about perspective. So when we draw a perspective drawing, it helps our drawing look 3D. Don't you think this drawing looks 3D as well? Do you want to make it? Okay, let's make it together. Let's start by making these base lines first. We don't require a scale for this. Try going as slow as possible. Make sure that you do not press your pencil hard and make a dark drawing. It will be difficult for you to erase it later. Make sure we keep the page neat and clean. Now, let's make these beautiful mountains. We are making them tiny because they are far away from us. Now, let's start making our tree. For the trees, let's make two slanting curves and a V in the middle. Let's erase the things which are being overlapped. Now, repeat the same procedure again. This tree is closer to us and hence it is big. Now, the next one is a little further away. So, it's a little smaller. The further we go, the smaller the trees get. Erase all the base lines which are overlapping our tree. For the trees, let's make two slanting curves and a V in the middle. Now place a huge cloud on top of it and look, our tree is done. Repeat the steps for the other trees but make them smaller every time. Make sure you give a nice finishing to all your trees. Now what do we see? This is the biggest tree because it's closer. The next one is this. The other one is this. Then this and the last one. This is the smallest because it's far away from us. Make sure you don't keep any lines unerased which are overlapping our trees. Now let's start coloring our drawing. Let's take this dark green color and color it right here. Make sure you start with the outline first. Now, let's start coloring the entire tree in sleeping line just like this. Make sure you color it very lightly. Now, with the same green, start making spirals to create a beautiful texture for the tree just like this. Are you enjoying? Yes, I am having fun too. This might take some time, but trust me, this is going to make your drawing look even more better. Now, if you feel that there are still white spaces in the middle, you can just brush it up once again, just like how I'm doing it. Now, let's go ahead with the next tree. Don't forget to color in spirals. It is definitely going to give you a nice texture. Let's go ahead with the next tree now. Ah uh ah, -uh, don't forget to do the outline. Be very careful while doing the outline as it will make your drawing look really nice. Keep coloring in spirals to make it look extremely beautiful. Try and do not keep any white spaces. Now let's change our color to a dark green and go ahead once again. Now 
Now that we are done with the outline, we will start with the base color. Let's start with the light green color first. Make sure you go very slow while doing the outline and try coloring this in only one direction. I will be doing this entire section in sleeping line. Make sure you do not keep any white spaces. Now that I'm done with this color, I'm going to go ahead with my next color which is going to be light green. I will start with my outline first. Once I'm done with the outline, I am going to start coloring this in sleeping line. Don't forget to be neat and clean. Now I'm going to change my color and take the next color which is yellow. I am going to do the outline for each section and fill the colors in sleeping line. Now I am going to take lemon yellow and start with the next section. Here I am doing the outline and coloring in sleeping line. I am picking up light blue color for the mountains. It is going to give a beautiful layer to our drawing. If you notice, we are giving a shade from dark to light for the land so that it creates depth and makes our drawing look more 3D. For the sky, I am going to take lemon yellow and I am just going to remove its top cover like this. I am going to use this side of the color, keep it in sleeping line and just rub it very slowly. Keep it as light as possible. Make sure you use only one side of your color. Keep the color flat on the paper and start rubbing it only in one direction. Look, it's giving such a beautiful shade on the paper. Now I'm going to take the brown color and start doing the trunk of the tree. Let's do the brown color now. Make sure you go very slow. Don't forget to do the outline. Complete the entire drawing in the same way now. You can even change the color of the trunk. I am using a darker brown over here. And finally for the touch up, I am going to take my orange color and just give a beautiful sunset effect in the corner. I am done with my drawing. And you have done a great job. Clap for yourself.